I tell them that I'm an aerospace engineer and my specialty is spacecraft propulsion systems and launch vehicles, and they always look shocked. It's no shock to Yvonne Brill that for more than 60 years, she has been in what she calls the rocket business. I would have preferred engineering, but the dean at the University of Manitoba really wouldn't let women in engineering. So I got a degree in science. The Douglas job came through first. So I took the one-way ticket without knowing a soul there, and it was a good choice. Once in California, Brill was charged with finding a lightweight rocket fuel to launch unmanned satellites as part of Project RAND. But very shortly afterwards, uh, the Berlin Wall and the Cold War with Russia started, so the focus then turned to missiles. Next, Brill worked on ramjet igniters. Then, her decision to marry would shape her life and her career. All of his opportunities were on the East Coast, and all of mine were on the West Coast. But in thinking about it, my decision was that good jobs are easier to find than good husbands. So I married him and moved East. In the 60s, Brill evaluated propulsion systems for theoretical communication satellites. She concluded that this type of satellite would need rocket engines with two thrust levels, one to get to the desired orbit and one to maintain position. Nobody was using hydrazine on a spacecraft yet. Just using the monopropellant really simplified things. Her electrothermal hydrazine thruster is now standard in the industry. In engineering, you get to build things and you see the results of your work. Nothing was more gratifying to me to be at a control center when the satellite finally got on orbit, safely and with all payloads functioning. 